Hi, this is Kevin. So you don't really understand what Byzantine art is. That's okay. Most people don't. I'm going to take the next three minutes or less to explain to you basically what it is. Byzantine art is from the Eastern Roman Empire. It is from approximately 300 AD to about 1450. Uh, 1450, I should say, AD. And it is a period of art that typically uh, celebrated the Christian church and uh, lots of Christian iconography. Now, it's not necessarily always Christian, but for the most part, most of the art from this particular era is going to be Christian based. Now, when you're looking at this type of art, it is important to understand that the symbolic is what's important, not the realistic. Let me give you an idea here. In this particular sculpture that you see here, a lot of people would look at it and say this person just looks a little bit off. He looks kind of weird and quirky. And that is because in this particular case, they were not concentrated on making the most realistic look of the person. They wanted to look at his soul. They want you to look inside of his eyes to see uh, if this person is following God or not. Uh, they made them elongated a little bit, almost to kind of show the, the kind of nastiness of the human soul a lot of the time. They would kind of elongate their forms just a little bit. And uh, it was a little bit of exaggeration that they would use. They wanted to show deep what was inside the soul and not necessarily just what you see on the outside of the human body. Last but not least, you should know that the overall effect is the most important thing. Uh, the art itself can be very simple in certain places, but when you look at all the patterns that they used, all the gold leaf and all of the uh, just really kind of uh, out there colors, like the, the greens and blues that pop here, uh, the gold leaf that you can see all over the place in the windows and things, this is a very uh, striking type of art. And when you look at it, you're supposed to be in awe. They wanted you to feel like you were in the presence of God or having a spiritual moment just by looking at the art. Even if the art itself, when you really get down to it, is pretty simple in most places. Byzantine art uh, continues to be a huge influence on modern art because it was very simple and broken down to what is symbolic. And that led people like Picasso and other modernists to make their art simple, broken down, but also at the end of the day, powerful in its uh, very simple use of decorative form. And it continues to influence us to this very day. Hopefully this explanation has made you a little bit more art smart and you'll get to know a little bit more about the Byzantine era. Yes, I can explain it to you in three minutes or less, but hey, learn a little bit more and maybe at a party you'll better understand what people are talking about if you're at a Byzantine art party. Not that there are those. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye.